A few people have asked me for an update on our multi-grafted pear tree. You can see here that we got at least eight foot of growth off of some of these grafts. That's pretty incredible. So if you look right here, that has actually healed in and has grown out really nicely. It makes a great big, great big knot in there. And it's going up an entire eight feet. That's a lot of growth. Now there's a problem here and that is some of these broke off and died. We had a frost right afterwards, plus the cows came out here and knocked off some of our grafts. So we had a graft here, we had a graft here, we had a graft here, we had a graft here. These are gone. But these grafts, these two huge ones, totally took off. So this is actually going to be capable of um, fruiting this next season. So let me back up a little bit. It didn't turn into the awesome multi-graft thing we hoped to between the frost and then the cows knocking all the lower ones off. I should have kept the cows out of here. I let them over here to graze all the grass and they, they went around and they, they knocked my branches off. So we'll just saw this thing up probably and we'll leave the good ones and we'll graft on the couple that didn't take off. But you can see how much growth is coming out of those two particular grafts right there. They are gigantic and they should easily fruit this next season. So not a true awesome Franken tree like we hoped, but you got at least two varieties of pear on there and we can add some more this next season and we'll just clean up those extra stumps, just cut them all off and direct everything upwards. We have had to come back and, and cut away the side branches now and again uh, to direct everything up towards the ones that took but I think we did we did pretty good we will get pears out of it uh, I planted it you know we did grafted it here because it's right next to the pond and we figured that thing was always going to get water but as you can see my pond is actually really really low because we are in drought conditions this is easily three feet below where it should be we're actually in danger of losing the pond because there's only about a foot of water left there but the tree is still obviously doing fine pretty cool to see and i figured i'd just give you a quick update catch y'all soon and until next time may your thumbs always be green